Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm cooking a Southwest inspired burger on the Suntera Outdoors Camp Hibachi. Let's get going. So I have here five ounces of beef. I'm gonna use my stainless steel ring here. Just form that patty. This is 80-20 ground beef. There we go. Get my hands washed and we'll season up this burger. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and season it with some kosher salt. And here's that hibachi, just a very, very bare bones basic grill, perfect for camping. And it does have a lid that is vented on the back. So for this cook, I'm using briquettes and I'm only cooking one hamburger. I just have this side charged up with the briquettes here, nothing over here. This would be perfect for keeping things warm. Let's get that patty down. A little bit more salt. Now while this burger is cooking on this side, I have an amazing burger sauce. Well, I'm calling it a burger sauce that I made for another channel video just the other day. So check it out. So we're going to kick this recipe off with some mayo. Fresh avocado. There's a little oxidization here, that's fine, but we'll exclude that from my mayo here. And add just a little bit of fresh cilantro, some fresh lime. Next thing I'm going to do is add poblano pepper. And what I did to the pepper I'm going to use in this recipe was this morning, I went ahead and hit it with a torch, got it all nice and blistered, put the pepper in this plastic bag while it was still nice and hot. What's going to happen is it's just going to sweat the skin off. You wanna use gloves for this. So you can see, you just basically take your thumb and rub the skin off. You don't have to worry about getting all the skin off. I like some of the char flavor that this adds, but uh, you want to get most of it off. I'm just going to cut this back end off here, the stem. Just that chunk of the pith with most of the seeds out, I guess. Drop it right in the mix. I'm going to add a little fresh pepper. And we are done. Right, let's give this a quarter turn here. All right, let's give this a flip. Nice. All right, this is approaching doneness now. I have some hatched chili peppers. And these are simply canned hatched chilies. So this is a four cheese blend of Mexican cheese. What I'm gonna do with this, let's move it over to this side here. And get that lid on. Get a melt on that cheese. All right, it's got a melt going on. Seeded Kaiser rolls. Love these things, nice and soft. Just gonna give these a quick toast. Good. Looks good. Let's build this burger. Kick this off with some green leaf lettuce. This is going to provide a nice protective layer from the juices coming out of the burger patty. Put the burger patty down. Very thinly sliced sweet onion on a mandolin. This next topping is something, again, it came from that last video I made, but I did a little bit of an addition to it. Basically, I took red bell pepper, mandolin, sliced it very, very, very thin, marinated it overnight in a, it was a red wine olive oil 
salad dressing. And I'm doing the same thing with this, but I also added some really like paper thin sliced tomatoes that have been marinated. It just adds a killer color and a really nice flavor. So here are some of those bell peppers. You can see they're just really beautiful. Then paper thin, like you can read through these tomatoes. Again, marinated in this salad dressing. This next topping is inspired by Brazilian and Cuban hamburgers. I have here some it's good old shoestring potatoes. Just going to add more crunch. And here's that avocado roasted poblano sauce. And this stuff is amazing. It's, you, you saw everything that went into it. Take my word for it. It is good. Just get that spread on and I'm going to go generous because like I said, this stuff is really, really good. And the crown. Nice. And there we have it. The Southwest Cuban Brazilian inspired cheeseburger. Let's give this a try. <laughs> Look at that. Belongs on a magazine. Cheer. Whoa. So this thing is overloaded with flavor and texture and that nice char flavor from being, you know, so close to the coals. And this, you know, I, I realize that that's something that I miss. I, I love flat top burgers. I mean, you cannot beat that caramelization that you get from a flat top, but there is definitely something to be said about that really good char flavor that this thing is packed with. Mm. So like I said, flavor and texture wise, this burger is all over the place. Right off the bat, those soft Kaiser rolls, the, the crunch of that shoestring potatoes, which I'm going to admit to you because I, when I'm doing these videos, I'm all over the place. And sometimes I get a little distracted, a little ADD action going on. And <laughs> I bit into it and I was surprised because for just a split second, I forgot about the shoestring potatoes. So it was a nice surprise going through that. And you're getting that tangy, crispy f flavor of the, uh, those bell peppers. Again, that, that marinade and how thin they're cut, it takes away that really strong bell pepper flavor. Get a little teeny bit of the bell pepper flavor, but a very, very herbaceous kind of savory tang, you know, that the acid from that red wine vinegar. The um, burger itself, I mean, it's just, again, that really beautiful char flavor, very juicy. And let's not forget this sauce. I made this sauce again a couple days ago and my wife absolutely loved it. And those roasted poblanos just gives you a nice subtle burn in the back of the throat that is fleeting. It, it comes in and then it goes away, but um, it, it's really, really good. So you need to try that out. Just a few recipes, very easy to make. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please hit that red sub button, ding the bell, thumb it up, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.